Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We're out and about on our way to go grab some breakfast. Although the time is 12, 17, very late. Today we're just spending the day in this city. It is Sunday, so everything's closing quite early. I'm wearing a hoodie, a t-shirt under, and a coat, and I'm still cold. Here we are in the cafe. Let's go in. Oh, I remember. We've just been eating up and we're walking towards where all the shops are located. I have a little return. How the beautiful acne store. This shop is like one of the most beautiful shops in Stockholm. Let me show you guys what this shop looks like because it's insane. The interior is just so cool. The aesthetic. Oh my god, guys, they have so many amazing things for fall. Look at this cord. Oh wow. This jacket is insane. Matching pants. And then. Oh my god, I love acne, especially this shop. Like, it's just so cool. Look, they have like pops of green for the season. This jacket is so good. And then also pops of pink. This jacket is so cool. And so many shops have made like dupes of it, but this is like the original one. And the price of it is 17,000 Swedish crowns. Do you guys think it's worth it? This is also my full OOTD. I'm just wearing this hoodie, pair of jeans from Zara, blazer coat, and then my Bottega. I'm staying warm today. Look at this Acne Studios pink top that I just tried on. It's giving fairy angel, but like cool at the same time. Thank you so much. This is I tried it on with this leather skirt, also from Acne, and I think this is the way I would personally style it. I just think it won't be worn as many times as it deserves to be worn, so that's the only reason why I wouldn't pick it up. I'm in 80s now, and these are the jeans that I've been eyeing for a little while, and I want to try them. They look super cool, and I also found similar style, but in this wash. So, this is what they look like up close. It's just like the denim is a bit distressed. And it looks so cool. Oh my god, love. So these are a pickup for sure. Du bara har jag ett val eller? Ja, precis har jag ett val. Men den lokalen tycker jag verkar så tråkigt. So we're sat for a little fika pause, so we're gonna try this filled croissant. I think it's filled with chocolate. And then this is just a vanilla bun, but I'm mostly excited for this one because it looks so good. It looks really tasty. Oh my god. Mm. Well, I'm not. Oh my god, that was so quick, Felix. Mm. How good? Uh. Oh my god, guys, this was so good. <laughs> guys, we're making our way home. I bought the jeans from 80s that you saw. So what I haven't told you is that I actually tried these jeans back in March, I think, and I had a couple of photos of myself in the jeans, and I let them go, I didn't think much of them, until the other day I saw the photos on my phone again, and I was like, wait, these jeans are actually fire. I decided to go back to ATs and try them on again, and I was really fortunate because one of my friends actually work in ATs. I got a little discount, which was good. Time is 3.17, so we've been out for like three hours, four hours, something like that. We're just gonna go back home, eat some lunch, and spend our evening there. Look how beautiful this day Let's is, you guys. It's just really cold, that's the only thing, but it's like the perfect fall day today because it's super crispy, but it's sunny.
I feel like I haven't been speaking to you at all today. I've been to the Pilates class and also went and got my hair refreshed. I just got some highlights at the roots. Today is a full day of events. We have three different events to attend. So I'm firstly going to a showroom and then headed to a NARS event and then also a third event at, I think, 6 p.m. or something. This is my OOTD for this fully event kind of day, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be a good one. I'm wearing this vest from Zara. My pants are Jerf Avenue. And then I'm wearing these boots from, I think these are ASOS last year. And my bag is a Chanel top handle um, from a retro tail. So this is a vintage bag. I'm like so excited for today because the NARS event is gonna be so good. I really love NARS, you guys know. I like literally use all their makeup, so hopefully we get a good goodie bag and the event's gonna be so much fun. I'm going with my friend, so that's also really fun. This is the jacket I'm gonna go for. It's kind of like a oversized wool blazer looking jacket. This is the overall look and i'm gonna go downstairs now and meet caro i haven't met him in forever so it's gonna be really good to see him and we're going to the showroom together and so yeah i'm really rushed let's head out okay guys we've just been to a showroom kind of event we've now gotten to the location where nars have their event and i'm here with caro she got really nice stuff actually i did actually so they were really generous at this showroom so they were just like picking out things and got to try them on but i don't think i got any content there so i'll make sure to get some content from nars event so excited to go there it's an afternoon tea event it's a really good product to place on top and it doesn't disrupt your makeup too much so it sounds like it's a weird product to be able to do that with. Maybe, but we didn't, we didn't start sharp. Valencia and Barcelona. Ja, men bra! Valencia, men det är faktiskt... Är det så? Ja, wow. She covered my breakouts. <laughs> We're back in Dubai. I'm by myself for a week in Dubai and I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of all the things that I love doing while I'm here, which is see my friends, go shopping, go to the beach, eat food. That's basically what you do in Dubai, I guess. I have missed it so much. It's been six months since I was here last. So you guys get to hang out with me this week and starting off today, which is actually my second day today. Yesterday I had a full day of not vlogging. So today's my first day. It is Tuesday the 24th of October currently 11 a.m. And I've gotten ready because I'm gonna go for brunch at brunch and cake in Jumeirah Island with two of my Swedish friends You guys might know from my social media that I love brunch and cake It is a very extra brunch place to have a menu filled with different options like so many different cool things colorful and just aesthetic to look at then brunch and cake is the place to go and they have like three or four different brunches so we're going to Jumeirah Island today we should be heading off in actually 30 minutes because I need my friend to shoot me for collaboration before we go to eat this is the tricky part when you're by yourself if you need to shoot something then good luck so I'm really happy the fact that I have people that can help me hopefully it turns out well because I'm gonna be shooting outside and you guys know Dubai heat is heating and at the moment is like 40 degrees which is crazy to be 40 degrees in October I don't know, I think the heat is just gonna like start cooling down this week or next, hopefully. But anyway, so I fixed my hair just for the collaboration. Otherwise, there's no point. I can just put it up like I did in Japan. So that is the plan of today. And then later in the evening, I'm honestly not sure what I'm doing. Yesterday evening, I was just in this apartment kind of getting some work done. It's great because I can work at the same time as I'm here. So yesterday morning, for example, I was by the beach like all morning, tanning, swimming, but also getting work done on my phone, which is great. I really, really appreciate the fact that I get to work like this. So um, I'm gonna finish off my makeup, put an outfit on, and also bring this outfit that I'm gonna shoot um, in a bag and then book myself a Kareem and head off. I'm really excited like you guys as soon as I landed in Dubai I swear my energy just switched like I'm a different person here and I'm sure you guys can tell from 
my content as soon as I landed you guys soon as I woke up yesterday morning I was like I know exactly what I'm doing it was like my gut feeling just spoke to me like you're in the right place in time girl anyways enough chatted about that I have created a mess Victoria I'm so sorry if you're watching this I'm gonna tidy up as soon as I'm finished here also just have to mention my hair gets very fluffy in the water here in Dubai as soon as I shower here I get a completely different look here on a blowout the same blowout like I'm literally using the same products and everything but compared to Sweden where my hair lays a lot more shiny and flat I would say here like this is me like just styling it as soon as I walk out it's gonna be even more fluffy but Another thing I wanted to come to is the fact that I really think that my hair loss back a year ago was majorly because of Dubai water. I highly suggest you guys living in Dubai get yourself a water filter because I cannot tell you how much my hair has gotten thicker and grown grown back as soon as I uh, relocated back to Stockholm. So highly recommend. I never did just because I was like, I don't think it's the water. Like it's probably me lacking some kind of vitamins or something but i'm telling you guys it has to be the water big suggestion get a water filter anyway i'm gonna get ready this is my outfit for brunch today i'm wearing this set from zara which i think looks really exclusive and nice and then laura piana a summer walk loafer if you guys are wondering about my lip combination i'm wearing deep rose from huda orgasm afterglow from nars and then fenty lip gloss in the color sweet mouth that was a really stressed kind of OOTD, but I need to head off, so... <laughs> that was a really hot photo shoot, you guys. Uh, my you dress... Yeah. My dress is all sweaty i hope we got something at least because that would be nice yeah. for me to just be done but the dress oh, is really beautiful car? oh my god the dress is actually really beautiful guys it's from club l so check out for that collaboration thank you oh my god this one looks so good food have arrived we have my favorite french toast this is a nutella french toast you have to order this one if you come here and then we had a bunch of other things to share so as you can see we have some eggs and acai some pasta even salad and then this is like a baked potato so excited for everything this is beef bacon by the way I realized i didn't get much content yesterday from brunch and cake i just got back home and i did some admin work today's a new day and i've just received this pr from Ili. It is a Abaya brand here in Dubai, which I've been eyeing for a long time. I've been seeing a lot of influencers wear their pieces. I wear one of them today. I'm going to Dubai Mall. So these are the pieces I received from Ili. This is the first one. It's this kind of like beige, silky one that has this beautiful detail in the front. I'll make sure to show you guys it properly later. Or check out my Instagram or TikTok. I'll probably post in these. And then this one is so beautiful. It's like polka dots. Actually, it looks like hard when you come up close, but it's like polka dotty and I'm obsessed. I really love both of them. So I don't know which one we should wear today. Honestly, feeling like this one a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and try on a couple of outfits and see which one goes better and then decide which one I'm going to go for and then film some TikToks and content in the apartment before heading off to Dubai Mall. I'm going to spend the day there. So there's like obviously a couple of boutiques I want to go check out, like APM Monaco. I also want to check out the Zara because in Dubai Mall, it's just huge. Then at around six or seven, Mariam is coming, joining me, and then we're going to have sushi in the mall at my favorite place, Origami Sushi. I've just dressed and finished getting ready for Dubai Mall. I'm so excited. It's already 3 p.m. though, so I'm a little bit late. My outfit of the day is 10 out of 10, if I may say so myself. So I'm wearing this abaya from Ili, and then my bodysuit and jeans are both from Zara. I've gone for Laura Piana's, just for comfort. And then to bring back a little pop of color, I'm wearing this yellow by far amber bag. This is a better view of the look. I hope you guys can see it. I really love it. I haven't had a polka dots um, abaya ever, so I'm really obsessed with it. I'm meeting my friend Mariam in three hours for dinner. She's uh, one of my local friends, actually, which you guys haven't met because I don't think she wanted to be on camera, but we're gonna go for dinner at around 6, 7-ish p.m.
it is a new day and I'm here sat eating some breakfast. I ordered some omelettes and broccolis, which I've already eaten now. The food is from this place. Their food is really good. I've been ordering breakfast a couple of days now and it's healthy and it's very yummy. The broccoli comes with like a vinaigrette sauce kind of thing, which wow. I think the last clip is from me in Dubai Mall. I honestly, as soon as I got there, I... I don't know what happened. I think I got anxious by the thought of me being alone and vlogging. And I think it's because I've not been vlogging regularly recently. So it was like a, a little bit of an adjustment in my brain. So I felt a bit anxious and I was like, I tried and I tried and I tried, but then I was like, fuck it. I'm just not going to vlog. So I ended up not vlogging much from Dubai Mall, but what we did, what I did was I went there browse and then i met up with maria my friend and we had dinner at origami sushi if you guys follow me on instagram then you would have seen all of this and that was three days ago so i haven't been vlogging for three days now which i apologize but to be honest guys when i'm here and i'm meeting up with friends which i haven't met in forever i think the last thing all of us would want to do is like shove a camera up in the company's face so I think I've just really been enjoying my time, not really stressing about vlogging. I'm really sorry. I know you guys still love my Dubai content, but I'm not here for long and it's not like a lifestyle thing anymore. It's just me on vacation. So I would really want to just enjoy it, I think. I've really been enjoying my stay here in Dubai, by the way, guys. Like, I think that's also part of why I've not been stressing about the content because I've just been enjoying it so much, like meeting my friends, going to all the places. Everything is just very nostalgic. And I've really been enjoying it, but I do also miss home, which is great. Like I miss my cat, I miss Philip, I miss the apartment, my little daily routines in Stockholm, which it just feels great to be at a place in my life where I'm grateful for both parts. I don't have to choose any of them anymore. Like I get to experience Dubai, but obviously I live there and have my family and friends in Sweden. So I think I've really gotten to a place where I'm happy and I feel calm and everything he like reflected on that last night I was so grateful and I was like wow like I love Dubai I would love to live here sometimes you know in my life again sooner or later but I think at the moment I'm really fine where I'm at you guys it is a little bit later I'm now headed off to go get my manicure done so whenever I'm in Dubai I go to the salon that I love so much just because they do like a Russian manicure where they kind of clean everything so well I just ask for an actual gel manicure basically so i'm trying to find an atm now just because they only take cash which is really annoying but i do everything to go to the salon Good morning guys i have prepared myself a cup of tea this is your tea's digestive herbs which i've been drinking lately and really enjoying guys the way i've been craving progetto acai ever since i got to dubai i've just been waiting for like the perfect morning where i have a little gap um where i can go there because you can order it but for me i really want to go there i'm just drooling thinking about the juicy mango and the creamy peanut butter so I decided today is the day I'm going to go to Progetto Acai. Literally, if you guys are in Dubai and you haven't tried it, I don't know what you're doing because it is the best place for acai. Even if you're not into acai, like this spot, they should sponsor me. They honestly should sponsor me the way I eat there. Like I used to eat there at least two times, three times a week when I used to live in Dubai. Anyway, enough about Progetto Acai. The plans of today are a little bit unclear, to be honest. I was supposed to go to a beach club with my friends, but that's change of plans. So I think I'm just going to go to Progetto Acai, eat my acai, and I'm going there by myself. Maybe go for dinner tonight with my friends that I'm supposed to go to the beach club with today. So a little bit unclear, but I thought I'm just going to do my makeup and then see where the day takes me. I'm just so excited. Today is my almost final day tomorrow is my last day here okay guys i'm finally ready this is what i'm wearing i've just gone for something simple but comfortable as well so these jeans are levi's boot cuts and then i'm wearing this ribbed tank from cause my uh big shirt is from arket shoes i think i'm gonna go for laura piano it's just because they're comfortable and i think i might be going to the mall of the emirates after so it's just gonna be a very convenient choice let me book a taxi you know the thing is it's just 20 minutes to walk but the problem is walking in dubai is hell like you have to be walking around buildings just to get to a place so when it says 20 minutes i really don't trust it 
and to save myself a sweat and maybe a panic attack let me just get myself an uber <laughs> How insane does this look? I have mango, bananas, granola, peanut butter, and then I ordered a Americano. So guys, I'm done at Progetto Acai. I'm now headed off to Ili's studio, which is where I get my abaya. She invited me to come to the studio and try on some pieces and just see everything so I'm trying to find it but I'm not sure if I'm even going the right way guys this is what I would call Abaya heaven just look at all of this and I love Ili so I just can't wait to dig in this is similar to the polka dots one that I have in black this is a nice cut I don't know how I feel about the peach though but I'm leaning towards something dark I would love to have something navy let's see this is also similar to the one i have guys look at this color so different i love the sleeves look how big they are like you just know this is gonna fall beautifully if you guys haven't been here you should definitely come and see that bias for yourself you can even try them on it is in dear all dubai uh, it's a really small studio but i think it's perfect just to come and look at everything guys this is actually a nice color this is a blue Abaya with this fabric of like dots. I don't know how I feel about the color on myself, but it is so gorgeous and the fit is actually making it even nicer. This is a navy one. I love this detail. I just finished Ili's studios. I got three different abayas and I'm so excited because they look amazing. I just wish I had come here earlier um, to be able to see all the pieces before just because now I'm only here for two more days but I'm gonna keep them for when I'm back. I'm now waiting for my taxi. I'm gonna go to Mall of Emirates. Although it's really late, it is already 4.30 but I still wanna just make sure I go there and check that out. Guys, I'm in H&M and I found this set. What do we think? I think the fit is really really cozy and nice for Sweden obviously yeah I really love H&M in Dubai by the way they have amazing things so I might actually pick this one up I could even wear it to the airport guys I got back home and I touched up my makeup quickly and I changed my outfit so let me show you guys what I'm wearing we're going to dinner at Amaya in Dubai mall with my friends so this is my OOTN <laughs> outfit of the night on for the bodysuit from skims this is the fits everybody and then my jeans are 80s you guys have seen when i purchased these in this vlog actually and i'm obsessed they're giving unique and then my mules are studio amelia and then the bag is by far i just figured the yellow bag is gonna be fun for a pop of color and then my earrings are from meshki believe it or not i've been loving them but i got them this summer so i don't know if they still have them but it's giving bottega and i love it so i'm now just waiting for um my friend to come pick me up and then we're headed off to dubai mall i am starving so bear in mind if you're going to dubai mall make sure you're covering up because there's a lot of locals there so that is why we're wearing long sleeves either this or abaya don't go with shorts don't go with a skirt please don't do that it's just not respectful okay Anyway, what do you guys think of my fit? I think it's really cute. This fit is something I would actually wear in Sweden as well. With a big black coat, oversized coat. Anyway, just gonna wait for my friend to come. Should we put on some perfume? I can never have too much perfume. I've literally been wearing this every single day. Hibiscus Mahajad. Mahajad. A little perfume. I'm literally wearing way too much perfume, but I don't even care. Sushi with strawberries. This is some kind of sea bass. Looks amazing. How hungry are you from a scale of 1 to 10? 10? Really? The mains have arrived. This is a truffle pasta, sweet potato, and we also had some meat. Was it good? I haven't tried it yet. Ooh, there is the salad. Enjoy. Thank you. Hi 
guys it's a couple of weeks later and i'm back home in stockholm i haven't been filming anything for the last couple of weeks thought i'd come on here and film an outro for this vlog because i really want to publish it um i hope you guys have enjoyed it i've really been all over the place i started the vlog in stockholm and then i flew to dubai I didn't even tell you guys anything so i apologize for the mess but it's just me kind of trying to be like sharing as much as I can at the moment on YouTube, which is not easy because I'm not really feeling it to be completely honest. The best way I can do it is just to film random things and kind of put them together into a vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.